How does Santa Clara acquiring Stafford affect Santa Clara? I love that. How does Santa Clara acquiring Stafford affect Jimmy's roster value? Do the Niners just cut Jimmy? What does getting Stafford do to the locker room? Um, I'm just guessing here. I'm let me do, let me just put out a bunch of assumptions. Uh, I don't. I think everyone knew that Jimmy Garoppolo was on the the trade block. I think everyone knew that the Niners didn't want him. I think his roster values probably depended on the team. I think his roster values higher on New England and any team that probably has a guy who was around Jimmy Garoppolo in New England. Pre-ACL Jimmy. Anyone who knows pre-ACL Jimmy might still like him. Post-ACL Jimmy, I don't like. I don't want that guy. He's rich. He's brittle. He's a statue. He can't move. He has no arm strength. He's just not good. Post pre-ACL Jimmy was a pretty good quarterback. But I think maybe New England feels they can rehabilitate him. They can put him in a better system, have him play with more confidence. I still think the Niners trade Jimmy Garoppolo to New England for uh, a second round pick maybe next year, maybe this year. Uh, the rumors were that they could have traded him to New England last year for a first, and they didn't. So will New England 100% change their opinion of Jimmy Garoppolo after a couple high ankle sprains behind an atrocious offensive line? No, I don't think so. So I still think he has trade value to New England. They have cap space. They can trade for him. And they can give Jimmy Garoppolo the extension that the Niners were unwilling to give him. Jimmy would be affordable right now if the Niners would just extend his contract. Here's a four-year extension. You're our guy. Uh, your cap number this year will be nothing. It'll be like $6 million. Next year, it'll be like 13 You'll be super cheap, and we'll backload it. And then if when it gets expensive again, we'll extend you again. But they didn't do that because they don't want him. They want to move him. So New England can do that. I still think the Niners can trade Jimmy Garoppolo, maybe get a late two, use it on a wide receiver. You know, good question. All right, next one. Next one's coming from David Trinidad. Let me find you, David. Boom. Between Stafford, Watson, and Jimmy G, who throws the most beautiful spirals? Stafford. Stafford, in terms of like arm talent, like it's – in no particular order, the quarterbacks who have absolute freaking hoses, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Matthew Stafford, and Jacob Eason, the backup in Indy. That guy has a hose. Okay. Just straight up in terms of arm strength, how far you can throw it, how hard you can throw it, how quickly you can make that ball spin, those four have the like bionic cannon arms. So yeah, then if the Niners were to get Stafford, they'd have a guy who could throw the ball like 75 yards through the air. They'd have a guy who could hit that throw to Emmanuel Sanders deep down the middle uh, for the touchdown. And it's, it's interesting. The Niners for such a long time have only had quarterbacks who could hit the throw deep down the middle. They haven't had the th guy who could throw the nine route because that's a further throw. It's a farther throw. Instead of 40 yards down the middle of the field, it's uh, the hypotenuse of the triangle. And anyone who knows math knows, you know, A squared plus B squared. We're talking C squared here. We're talking C squared. So that's that's what that throw is. I mean, Jimmy can't throw that. He doesn't even try the C squared throw. Matthew Stafford does. So it opened up all of a sudden, Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel would go from being running backs to actual wide receivers. It would be crazy. It would be amazing. Um, that being said, who throws the most beautiful spirals isn't the only criteria for what makes a quarterback great. Because if it were, Stafford would be the best of his generation. Jay Cutler would have been the best. Jeff George would have been the best. Now, Stafford's better than those guys. But uh, there, there is something about Stafford, and I don't really know what it is. Honestly, I don't watch the, the Detroit Lions that much. I don't. So I'm going to have to start digging in and figure like, what is it about him that prevents him from crap? Is it just Detroit? Is it just, cause I feel like a quarterback like Andrew Luck could have had, could have won playoff games on any team. There are quarterbacks, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, that you figure you just win, win playoff games on any team, any franchise, the Browns, the Jaguars, the Detroit doesn't matter. So Stafford's not that guy. There's not that many guys like that, but Stafford's not that guy. Why? Anyone has any ideas, let me know.